The spring planting season is well underway in Oklahoma and local greenhouses say they have a good problem on their hands, maintaining inventory to meet the demands of gardeners whose priorities have changed due to the pandemic. Steve Shaw is here to explain that. Steve. Rich, when the pandemic smacked us over the head just over two years ago, massive greenhouses around the state feared they'd be shut down. Instead, something else happened. TLC on West Memorial in Oklahoma City is one of those independent centers that sells Guthrie Greenhouse's red dirt plants. TLC also has a second location in Northwest Oklahoma City as well. Our spring is like eight weeks of Black Friday. It's just that crazy around here. And you just gotta keep, you know, one day at a time, keep pushing yourself to get through it. So we grow about 50 different varieties of tomatoes. We grow 25 different varieties of peppers. We grow like 10 different varieties of squash, five different varieties of cucumbers, and a ton of melons. Yet manager Brandy Mosley says it's still not enough. Again, because vegetables are so popular. With shortages at the grocery stores and stuff, we had a lot of people that come in and want to grow their own stuff. But we've had so many people get their kids involved now. And so every day we've got a new little kid coming in going, I want a strawberry or I want a tomato or something so I can eat it at home. Tara Gardner and her daughter Gentry drove in to TLC from Chandler last week. Mom says the pandemic was a catalyst. I think a lot of people started gardening. We had extra time, you know, we couldn't go places, pick out our own fruits and vegetables. And so this gave us a way to, you know, see what we're growing and, and have a quality. That's important. It's easier than I thought it was going to be for sure. People are seeing, you know, the grocery stores are getting a little bare right now. And to be able to know where our food comes from is important. And, you know, the health of our children and our families. Tomatoes have got to be the most popular. And then this, the scorching hot peppers. I don't know. You can't really eat them, but I mean, people come in and ask for the hottest of hot. Do they like to cook with it? They do like to cook with it. Or they just want to say that they have it, try to get their buddy to eat it. Mosley says besides veggies, the other most popular plants right now are bubblegum petunias, lantanas, pintas, and angelonia because they fare better in the Oklahoma summer heat. And speaking of that, she says water only in the early morning or late at night. If you have any water on their foliage anywhere between like 9 and 3 in the afternoon, you can actually scorch the plant from the water being on the foliage. So if you water them early in the day so they have time to dry, then you're, you're putting less stress on them. Also, when shopping for flowers, know the difference between what are called perannuals and annuals. Perannuals come back every year. Annuals die off in the early fall. I learned that the hard way. Rich? <laughs> Thank you, Steve.